Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightmare. It is the morning of day 14 and the first thing I want to do is spend these two skill points we have. So I'm going to go ahead and max out Sexual Tyrannosaurus and throw the other point into Skull Crusher. And to max out Skull Crusher, we're going to have to max out Strength first. Now at some point today, I'd like to craft an auger because it turns out we have enough motor tool parts. We just need steel. For some reason I was thinking we only had eight motor tool parts. Turns out we have 12. But only five pieces of steel, so we're going to have to get some steel today. But first, let's go ahead and turn this chem station on. It's crafting a shit ton of gasoline. And let's get this forge turned on. Smelting down stone and crafting out cement. Both mixers are making concrete and sand. Let's grab the concrete that's ready. And this forge is smelting down iron and crafting out bullet casings. Let's also craft as much forged iron as we can. We'll mine some iron at some point today also, and let's get a move on. Now, the first thing I was going to do today was the job that we picked up from Trader Gen at the end of the last episode, but I looked again, and it is that POI that we already looted with the three-car garage, and for the sake of you guys, the viewers, I don't want to go do a quest at a place we already looted, so instead, we're going to do a little bit of work to the base this morning, and then we'll go see Jen when she opens up and grab a different job. Now, one, the first thing I want to do here this morning is install some poles that I crafted, some flagstone poles. This should hopefully prevent the dogs from being able to get through this opening here because we were having that issue during the Night 7 horde. So by putting poles in like this at the top, that should prevent the dogs from being able to get through that opening and we can still walk through or crouch through very easily. Crouching is a little bit easier walking you can get stuck but uh crouching is no problem so let's go ahead and upgrade these to concrete and then uh we'll do some more upgrading with the concrete that we have and that's pretty much it by that time jen should be open and we can go see her Well, Jen's not quite open yet, but that's all right. We can take this time to mine the iron that we're going to need tonight. We got a couple of iron ores right up here, so let's get to work. Oh, got a zombie. All right, then. Come get some, bitch. Yeah, that's the weighted head mod you're feeling. Plus another level into Skull Crusher. But yeah, let's grab this iron. We're going to want to have a good amount on us tonight so we can repair the hatches as they're taking damage. However, at some point probably more towards the end of the horde. I want to let the zombies through the hallway and up onto the catwalk to see how that whole area works out. Because, you know, we've got the hatches on the catwalk and then we have the center bars as the ceiling. So I'm curious to know whether the zombies are going to try to attack the hatches or maybe punch up at the bars. And knowing that information could help us determine whether or not we need to make changes to that area for future hordes. Hey, what's up, Jen? Listen, I didn't want to do that other job you gave me, so uh, give me a different one. I might want to get some antibiotics for that. Um, or not. You have no work at this time. Is she that mad at me that I didn't do the other job? What the fuck? Check her vending machine real quick. Yeah, whatever. Oh, wait a second. Duh, I'm such a fucking idiot. I didn't cancel the current job. Hey, Jen, listen, I'm a little bit slow, so you're gonna have to bear with me, all right? Let me, uh, take one of these here. Uh, this one looks fine. I've got just the job. Oh, thank goodness. Let's do it. It's down in the southern town. That's fine. Hopefully, uh, things go better than the last time we were down there. Look at this poor stripper out here in the middle of nowhere. Her pimp probably left her out here. She doesn't know how to get home. Let's put her out of her misery. There you go, sweetheart. Now you can rest in pieces. Here we are. And this is a house that does not look familiar to me, which I like. I love exploring new places. What do we got back here? A little pool house or something? There's definitely a zombie in there. Here we go. 
paying so long, Mo. Yeah, this is like a little pool house. That's pretty cool. T-shirt. Scrap the sweatshirt. Hold on, is the T-shirt even any better than the BDU shirt? I don't think it is. It's got an 8 for heat resistance, and so does the BDU shirt. So, we don't need that T-shirt. Got a backpack right here and a flashlight. Pointing us in this direction. Yeah, I guess we're going in through this window right here. Yeah, this is definitely not a place I've explored before. At least I don't remember anyway. Let's check this closet. Let's wake her up gently. Okay. Didn't wake up anyone else. That's good. Whoop. Oh, thought the floor was given out. There's something behind the wall here. Looks like a shotgun messiah crate, and it is, and a ladder. Strange. I'll scrap the sledgehammer and take these parts. And what's going on up here? Just a backpack? All right, whatever. Let's see what else is going on in here. It's the back entryway. Uh-oh. Kenny. Where'd you come from? What'd you drop down from the ceiling? You must have been hanging out up there. Oh look, it's like a little balcony right there. Man, it's a pretty cool layout. Another house that I'm really liking the layout of. Let's deal with her, and then we got a closet right here. Ah, oh, Sleeping Beauty. She's dead. And we got a plug right here also. Let's pop this open. Backpack. Not much. All right, sports bag right here. Scrap the bandana, take the electrical parts. Got some firewood. Little ammo pile. Shotgun shells, nice. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab this couch real quick, the leather from it, because stacks of leather actually sell for a good amount. Now, we're not getting that much from this couch, but it all adds up. And when you get a full stack, you can sell it if you want, as long as you have additional leather. You always want to have some leather on you. But when you get more towards the end game, or after you've been playing for a while, you end up with like two or three stacks of leather, and you're never going to use all of it. So you sell it. Or some of it, anyway. Okay, uh, scrap, scrap, scrap. Let's drink some water, eat some food. I'll head upstairs. I like how it's all open right there. Probably should have a railing, though. And it looks like it goes up to the roof. We got three rooms. Wake up, lady! Oh, didn't even see this one sitting right there. Close that door and we woke up some other zombies. Bing, see ya! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, bitch! There was a weighted head mod on there. Fucking taking bikers' heads off with one swing, that, I'm sure, is a lot to do with the extra point we put in the Skull Crusher, and that's the reason we need to max out Skull Crusher, and that is the plan. I know I did find this the uh, schematic for Steel Clubs, and I do have some Steel Club parts, but I think I want to focus more on the Sledgehammer in this series than the Club. Get out of the way, Rope. What the fuck? Huh? There was some glass there. All for a glass jar. Nothing. Looks like we got one more zombie in here. Yep, just sleeping the day away. Ammo pile up there, and this is the main stash room, so I guess... The way to go isn't up onto the rooftop. It's weird that they have a ramp leading up there, though. I guess we'll double check up there, make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. But the area is clear, so there's no more zombies, and this is definitely the main stash room. But like I said, we'll still check it out up there, just to make sure there's nothing hiding up on the roof. Oh, burning shaft mod schematic. We can make more of those now. And then all of our shafts can be burning. Let's go ahead and read uh, that and this challenge. Kill some boars. Where was that challenge before we headed into that fucking... 
POI with all the boars. We know where another one is, though. Eventually, we're going to go there to get more meat. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. We can take these apart. I don't think you get steel from these. I think you just get iron. But we do need some steel. So before we leave this town and head back to Jen's, let's cruise around and see if there are any street lights around that we can take apart for steel. Chicken, come here, you little fuck. Get over here, you can't run from me. Oh, zombie. Come on, get out of my way, dude. I'm on important business right now. Oh, yeah, little son of a bitch. All right, you win this round, chicken. But hey, this thing right here, I believe if we take that apart, we should be able to get some steel from that. So let's pull our way up there. Yeah, got a few pieces of steel from that. And we got a zombie trying to attack our little column right here. Hey, lady, leave my shit alone. Uh-oh. Yeah, biatch. Weighted head mod. All right, let me check this workbench. We'll take this thing apart. And then we'll cruise around some more, see if we can find uh, any more of those things we just took apart or street lights. If not, then we'll cruise back to Jen, get our reward for this job, and then we'll cruise around our own town and see if we can find some street lights down there because, again, we need 15 pieces of steel to craft this auger, and right now we only have three. These lights right here, these like standalone lanterns or whatever, that's not what we're looking for. Those don't give you steel. I think they just give you electrical parts and maybe some raw iron. What we're looking for is like actual street lights like this right up here. Ah, sweet. Let's get in here and take these apart. These will give us steel. Here we go, and we got a zombie that's noticed us. Oh, back up, dude. All right. On to the next one. Here we go, and another zombie. That's noticed us. Come here, buddy. Oh, shit, I hit the car. Fuck, oh my god. <laughs> what a mess. Come here, you piece of shit. Yeah, down you go. Stay down. Got a couple of more over here. Got a zombie trying to break out that window. Ah, uh, just woke one up in here, it sounds like. Yep, steal with him. Oh, two in here. Come here, buddy. What the hell are you doing down there? Oh, it looks like that guy broke out of the window. Better deal with him first. Come get some, man. Oh, I hit the fence. All right, he's dead. Come on, dude. Stop fucking around. Oh, <laughs> there we go. He's dead. There are a couple of farmers trying to break in the gate over there, but they're, those are iron bars. They're not going to make it in here. Now we have uh, eight pieces of steel. So we need, what, seven more? We're not getting... Uh, we didn't get any from that one. Let's see if we can get any from this. A couple. So we need five more pieces, and we could craft an auger. Hey, what's up, Jen? I did that job you wanted me to do. Ooh, shotgun shells. Yeah, I'll definitely take those. And the Art of Mining book. Ooh, weighted head mod. But I'm gonna go for the Art of Mining book. We can always craft another weighted head mod. And she's got the special job opening up trader routes. Routes. Routes or routes? Which is it? Who fucking cares, right? So, we gotta drive back down south and go see Trader Hugh. Uh, craft Blackstrap coffee. That's what that Art of Mining book was. Um, let me see here. I'll buy her Rockbuster candy. Um, we might as well go do that right now. All we're gonna get from it is like 500 XP, and we don't need to go see Hugh. But if we do that now, then that will open up Tier 2 quests from Trader Jen. So let's just get it out of the way. This way, granted, we survive the night tonight. In the next episode, we can go ahead and take on a Tier 2 quest. Uh, Rockbusters, eye candy, nice, 
And that's it. Now we have a, a piece of eye candy at home, but I'm going to take a piece to uh, the Horde fight tonight in the event that there are a whole bunch of uh, loot bags left over. When we're done killing all the zombies, we'll go ahead and pop a piece of eye candy before we loot them all. And then we'll still have one piece left. Look, there was a street light that I missed down here. Good thing we came back. Let's grab that shit. Oh, waking up zombies. Come on, lady. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was awesome. You ain't gonna be jumping like that anymore with one leg. You're dead. There's a uh, wall safe, too, over there. So let's take this thing apart. We'll crack into that safe. And we'll head back to our town and uh, try and get the rest of the steel we're gonna need to craft this auger. Not much, but uh, definitely worth checking. Got one right here, right next to Trader Jen. I got one piece from that one, but we're still short. Here we go. Got a couple right here. These should give us what we need. A little Shamway Foods building right here. This would be a good place to raid right in town. We should do that at some point. Not now, though. All right, we got it. Not going to bother taking apart the other light. Let's just get home and uh, get organized, get all this loot put away, get geared up for the horde, and we can spend some time uh, mining some stone down in the bunker, since we're not going to be able to do that tonight. We'll be fighting a horde. And we'll get this auger crafted, and uh, that'll be good. Then we'll get uh, over to the base and get in position. I put in some support columns down here last night in the corners. Need to continue building out the floor and the ceiling though. I like to put the support columns in four blocks diagonal from the center support where my ladder is attached to. Uh, I, I, I've never had a problem with any collapse doing it that way. So uh, every four blocks diagonally you can put in another support column, and you should be fine. Oh, I'm such a fucking doofus. I guess I could have had this auger crafting, right? I could have been mining with this thing instead of the pickaxe, but... What are you gonna do? Hey, at least, listen, I, for, I remembered all my first aid stuff for tonight. I got the skull crusher candy, I got the eye candy, I got all my ammo, so... That's what's important. At least we're not going to forget anything for the horde. Now, we do have molotovs and pipe bombs, but I'm not going to take any of those with me tonight. I don't think there's going to be any need for that shit. Let's get some concrete moving in these mixers. I guess I'll park the bike over here by this door, just in case we got to bail out of that door. We can hop on the bike if need be. But I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Definitely not going to come to that. Not on night 14, anyway. There we go. We'll let the sledge turret get some work in tonight. He should keep the zombies from piling up out here. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and eat one of these skull crushers. And get ready. You know, I'm not really liking these poles up here. They make it a little bit hard to move around. So I guess we'll just crouch. Uh, but as long as they stop the dogs from getting through, then I, I guess they'll be worth it. My question is, though, are they going to stop the zombies from getting through? I don't think so. Now we're going to find out because, like I said, I want to eventually let them through the hallway tonight and, and test out the catwalk. Certainly not now. I want to thin the horde a little bit first.
Man, it's been a little bit of a pain in the ass fighting in this hallway with these poles, like I predicted, because sometimes you can get stuck on them when you're standing, but overall, I think it's good that we put them in, even though we haven't had any dogs yet, the reason I fucking put them in to begin with. All right, I think I'm gonna just start letting them in. So I'm gonna drop this hatch and pop this one up. Okay, then drop this one and pop this one up, drop that one. See, look, it, it looks like the poles are actually holding the zombies back a little bit. Come on, you fucks, while well, the spider zombie got through, no big surprise there. Oh, you little bastard, God. These guys are the worst, aren't they? The rest of them are just fucking stuck. Oh, she got through. They're certainly taking their sweet time. By the time the whole horde gets through the hallway, I bet you all those fucking poles we put in are gonna be destroyed. Let's just get down there. Screw it. Well, that's working, but I don't want to use up all my 762 ammo when it's unnecessary. Come on, you fucks. Look at this. We didn't even need hatches. All right. They're getting through. Like I said, they're taking their sweet time about it. But they're making their way. Let's get up here. Look at this, though. They're not attacking the hatch or the bars. They just keep jumping in place. This is working better than I thought. Oh, whole bunch of zombies just got in. Oh, shit. Goddamn spider zombie. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Holy shit. Use a bandage. Uh, and a painkiller. Damn, that was a close one. Definitely got to do something about the spider zombies. Oh, we got cops now? Holy shit. This horde is bigger than I thought. Wow. Hey, how'd you get up here? Oh, my goodness. It was working so great for a second. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Wow. Let's not die. Let's take a breather here and try not to die. Uh, one thing I'm realizing now, after all that mayhem, is that if we did fall off the catwalk, we are completely screwed. Unless I was quick enough to use the frames in my tool belt to pull back up here, we, we have no way out of the inside of this base. So, um, granted we survived tonight, what we need to do moving forward is dig ourselves a way out of here and put in like a hatch, you know what I mean? Oh, these fucking spider zombies. Um, so maybe we'll do that towards the back end of the base. Just like I said, break the floor open, dig down about, I don't know, 14 or 15 blocks, and then just dig away from the base and then dig up. And that's not a way the zombies will try and get in but it's a way that we can get out in the event we accidentally fall down. Strike. I mean, the catwalk is working out beautifully with these bars. For the most part, these zombies are just jumping in place. They do take a swing, like when I'm close near them, they try and swing at me. They're not really doing any damage to the hatches or the bars, so this is beautiful. We just need to figure out a way to keep the damn spider zombies from getting up here. You know what? We should probably pop another painkiller. 54 hit points is not where I want to be sitting. I feel a little bit better at 94. Man. We just knock them all off the platform with this thing. And it's an iron sledge. Wait till we get a steel one. Another loot bag. I've heard a lot of loot bags drop tonight, so that's good. We'll make use of this eye candy. Oh, another cop. That's crazy cops are showing up, man. And, and how 
big this fort is also is pretty crazy as well. It's hour three. We're still fighting. Cops are still showing up. What the fuck? It's only day 14. And we're on Nightmare on Insane Difficulty. So it's not like we've been leveling up that quick. I guess we have been leveling up pretty quick because of the work we've put in at this base. And maybe because we upped the difficulty is the reason so many more zombies are showing up. I mean, we are running at maxed out 64 zombie hordes. We always run that, though. I never drop below that. What's the point? That's the fun. The fun is in all the damn zombies. The only time you drop below 64 zombie hordes is when you're playing, like, Darkness Falls. Which I do plan on playing Darkness Falls again. A lot of people ask me that. But when we do, we're probably going to keep the zombie hordes at default. Because last time I played, I ran it at 32 zombie hordes. And even that was still way too much. The Day 7 horde was like the end of the fucking world. And that cop is going to blow up. Yep. There he goes. Shit. Uh, not much we can do about that now. So from what I've been told, uh, with Darkness Falls, with the difficulty, with the zombie hordes, all that stuff should be left at default, which I guess that's what we'll do next time we play. Why won't he die? Oh, shit. There he goes. At least he killed some zombies. Kenny, what the fuck are you doing in the corner? Come on, get with it. It is almost morning here. And these zombies just won't stop coming, dude. It's a crazy night 14 horde, I'll tell you that. Better repair this shotgun before we need it and it doesn't work. All right, Big Mama should be the last one here. And that's it. What a night. Holy hell. Let's go ahead and eat this eye candy. And get to looting. Ooh, level 1 battle axe. Not bad. Rather a higher level, though. Some handgun parts. Level 1 marksman rifle. Okay, we should have enough handgun parts now to craft... Oh, definitely now. Four more to craft a magnum. But before we craft a magnum, I would like to put some points into Gunslinger. This way we can craft at least a level 2. Uh, I would rather at least a level 3, though. Serrated Blade Mod Schematic. Vitamin. Some food, ammo, honey. Oh, Steel Sledge. Only a level 1, though, but at least we're getting steel tools and weapons now. Okay, that's it for in here. Got some out here. Let's go grab them. Some cash. Fuck you, cornmeal. Stay out of my base, you piece of shit. And one more bag right here. Ooh, generator bank schematic. Or the basics of electricity, which means we also know how to craft like relays and stuff now. And yeah, look, all those poles are gone. So if we want the zombies to get through the hallway, putting those poles back up there is not a good move. But I think we will put them back up there. Because the next horde, I'm going to try and hold them off in the hallway for as long as possible. Letting them through that early, or letting them through at all, is just a bad idea. I just wanted to get an idea of how the catwalk was going to work. And it worked out beautifully, except for, of course the uh, spider zombies that were able to get up there where we are. So I have to think about a way to keep them from doing that. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I got a whole bunch of loot to uh, get put away and organized, and then we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 15. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.